I'm Ben Ibrahim, I'm a TV commentator, TV presenter, master of ceremonies, and I'm also a sports management professional. Started my career as a corporate person. Oh, it was pretty boring. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. And then accidentally fell into TV. And then after that, I realized that I love sports so much, I want to be part of the action. Did a master's in human resource. I wanted to be a journalist, but my mother said, that's a very competitive line of work. I did a HR master's and I worked for a few good corporations, but it was predictable. I knew what I was doing today, tomorrow, next week, next year, and probably for the next five years. I wanted something that could really, really embrace not just my career, to play, but my colleagues create to play around us when I fell into TV presenting. So I thought that was a perfect avenue that you could express express sorry, your creativity and play. Oh, first job in sports. Well, I wouldn't call it a job. I was a volunteer when I was in university. I was a rower, if you can believe that. I know I'm not very tall. I wasn't a very good one, but I stopped rowing and I started coaching. But you coach not because you want, I mean, it'd be nice to get paid, but you coach because you love the sport, you love the people around you. So I was very involved in the rowing scene there. So I did a few jobs around the rowing circle in Australia, but it was 90% volunteer work because you loved it. When I got into this line of work in 2005, I said to myself, if I'm not, in my eight years time, if the regional guys are not calling me, or I'm not even close to becoming a regional international TV presenter, I'll quit and do something else. So at that time, I was aspiring to work for ESPN or CNN. In 2013, Fox Sports Asia called me for an audition, and I remember saying to them, jokingly, are you sure you got the right guy? <laughs> I went for the audition, I didn't think anything of it. It was a good audition. They said it was a great audition, but they were trying to manage my expectations as well, because there was a lot of people who went for the audition. And uh, two months later, God bless, I got a phone call saying, you're gonna be the presenter for the English Premier League for Fox Sports Asia. I never thought this would happen, but 2018, I was flown over three times overseas to two countries I've never been to. Last year, I went to FIBA for the FIBA 3X3 World Tour, and I commentated there. That was awesome. I worked with FIBA and they're a great international organization. To get to 22 or 21, will they get 21? Opa Gangnam style, that's the winner. Thinking about the two for the two, yes! Big shot by Sino. And I worked with Sina in China for the Sina League last year in December. And I went to Hua Chao for the World University Games. And Sassing out, spin, oh what a spin move, red finger roll. It was really, really great. And the good thing about those trips were, I didn't see any, I didn't see the Great Wall of China. I didn't see any of these overseas places, then these nice touristy places. But the best part about the job was, after the commentary was over, all my clients came up to me and said, good job. So I was just so happy, because I worked so hard. I didn't sleep for like three days memorizing all the names, getting all the names right, you know, le learn, uh, you know, learning the climate and the culture, and just working hard uh, to, just to get to know the players better so I can use that content on TV. But I didn't sleep much, but it was well worth it. And I hope I can do that again sometime. Favorite commentary moment? Ooh, that's memorable. Most memorable one is that a lot of people come up to me and mimic me, my voice. It's game five. You're with me, Ben Ibrahim, Andre Reza. And For the 2015-2016 ABL Finals, when the West Coast Malaysia Dragons won, I just shouted, how, how sweet, sweet it is, is. How, how sweet it is. Sweet it is. The West Coast the Malaysia West Dragons West are the ABL Dragons champion for the very first the time ABL in their history. For the very first time and that, in the way history. I said it, the tone, my excitement, a lot of people still mimic me until today. I say, hey, you're Ben Ibrahim, how sweet it is, how sweet it is. I said, oh, thanks for watching for the FIBA 3x3 World Tour. New York is mount a comeback. It's not impossible. Lock and also for the Cena League last year, and also the World University Games that I commentated on, the, it was shown on the Olympic Channel. And the FIBA 3x3 World Tour, it was shown in over 200 countries. When you say shown in over 200 countries, including the Olympic Channel, that's pretty big. That's almost a good portion of the globe. I met a lot of people and said, hey, you're that voice from the basketball, right? We heard you. I said, where are you from? I said, we're from Puerto Rico. So someone heard my voice in Puerto Rico. I was like, oh, wow. It's pretty uh, surreal and mind-boggling when that happens, you know. And 
It goes back to my initial dream. If, if I'm not going to be an international TV presenter, I may, I may as well not do this at all. So the hard work, all the hard work justifies everything. Really. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't like to use the word advice. Uh, advice makes me sound like an uncle or grandpa. I'm not there yet, even though I'm a dad. I just say learning and sharing. So I'm, I'm not going to say all the cliche lines, work hard, don't give up, persevere, follow your dreams and all that. That's, that's the given, but know what you're getting yourself involved for and always never run away from the goal. If one thing that I've learned is that money's not everything. And I suppose, the, to me, the goal in life is to find that job, that million dollar job, that job that's going to make you really, really happy and can pay your bills. But I always say, yeah, life is a box of chocolates, but you choose the, you choose the chocolates that you want to chase. So chase those chocolates. Oh, 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 oh,